so I see a bed right here. It's stepping into a whole new world without leaving your home or office. In a few years, there's going to be hundreds of millions of these devices in our homes. Inside this unassuming office space in the Sierra foothills, four startups are propelling Nevada County to becoming a hub for virtual reality. So you've got a, a base of technical talent that exists here, different from almost any other non-metro area. It was John Gregory's vision to take a rural area known for its 50-year legacy in broadcast technology and create a place where this emerging technology can flourish. In May, Gregory put out a call for companies to be part of a VR accelerator program and get a $50,000 investment. 30 startups from around the world applied. Four were chosen, including Dennis Ergerels, who wants to create virtual news. It's very emotional. It puts you inside the scene. You are not only someone just watching from outside. The other startups include a virtual fitness class, a comedy platform, and this. So if you point it towards the ground, you'll see that there's a circle, and that's where you will appear if you like. Oh, wow. A way to tour virtual real estate before it's built. So these companies are using 3D models to plan out their buildings. And so we, or other pieces of software that we use, can transform those into real-time interactive virtual tours. These advanced headsets can be pricey, but VR is more accessible than you may think. Now you can actually turn your own smartphone into a virtual reality device. You just need to purchase a headset for as little as 10 to $20. This one's about 60, but you place your cell phone inside and you actually create a virtual world out of your smartphone. And these startups envision all of us adopting virtual reality in our everyday lives within a decade. This is going to be very powerful because right now every one of us have a smartphone, right? In Nevada City, Natalie Brunel, KCRA 3 News.